Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Heroes and Villains by Netty Games and Antigen Games. It plays two to six players, it takes about 15 to 30 minutes to play, and is for ages 13 and up. And in the game, you're going to be gathering a superhero or villain and taking their deck, shuffling it up, drawing four cards, and beginning. The game is very simple. You'll draw a card, check to see how many cards you have in your hand, utilize your energy by deploying and activating cards, and attempting to deploy deplete your opponent's deck into his or her stockpile. If on your turn you can deplete an opponent's deck to zero cards, you'll win the game. But beware, the opponents are trying to do the same thing, and each deck has its own unique way of removing cards from an opponent's deck. Will you use a character like Fire Control, Dark Magic, or Super Speed in order to accomplish your mission? The choice is yours, and each of them functions in a different way, maybe utilizing their void or out of game area, or perhaps utilizing minions to reduce the deck's um, cards as fast as possible. You'll use counter cards and other types of tactics that can prevent your opponents from doing certain things, stunning your opponent's minions, and hopefully getting the last laugh by depleting their deck before you. It's a very, very simple style game with a unique twist in combat for each of the different decks, and also a variant to where you can create your own deck in the game Super uh, <laughs> Heroes and Villains, the superhero card game. Anyway, we'll take a look down below, show you what the game comes with how it is played and then we'll come up and I'll give you my review for the game. Welcome to Heroes and Villains, the super powered card game and as you can see I've set it up for two players. Uh, these are the mats for the game and of course the characters and their decks and here are some extra decks and characters that you could select from if you would like by mixing up the combinations of cards with multiple players. To begin the game shuffle your hero deck and deal out four cards for yourself. Everybody will do that. Then go ahead and take your character card and choose the front or back side the villain or the hero and place it down on a spot which you can utilize. These are once per game abilities and once you use them they are removed. Uh, then begin the game. Select a player to go first and go ahead and take the cards in your hand. You're going to get four energy to begin the game and if you look at the card how it works is you're going to have the energy cost of the card there, uh, what type of card it is, and who it's for and what it does. Otherwise it's just going to be the name and some flavor text. So if I wanted to, I could simply play this brands for two and put it down on the field. <laughs> Once I've paid for it, it's now there, but in order to utilize it, I'll have to pay for it again. If not, I can just simply leave it on the field. And then it will tell me what it does when I do choose to utilize it. So for two more energy, a total of four, I can deplete X, where X is the number of fire control and weather control cards I have in play. Well, this is a fire control card, so if I put another one into play, let's say for one here, that's going to have three energy. Um, I only have one left, which means I have only a two cost and a three cost card in hand, and I can't utilize these because I only have four. So this might not be a good play. Maybe instead I play this one here, totaling the four energy. Now I have two weather cards in play, which means when I do activate this on my next turn, I would deplete for two because there are two fire cards on the field and uh, basically it will remove cards from your opponent's deck. That's what depleting does. This one over here says I can deplete three from my opponent's deck, or I can restore cards. Restoring allows me to bring cards from my stockpile and put them back on top of my deck. And then I can deploy a card from my hand. And deploying means playing a card, and I can go ahead and do that for free with this card here, which is really, really powerful. That's actually extremely nice. When you finish playing all of your cards, you're gonna end your turn. And normally at the beginning of your turn, you're always going to draw a card. And I'm not sure if for the first turn or not, you can draw a card, but in general, you will draw a card. Then I go to the opponent's turn. They are going to simply start. They'll draw their card for the turn, check to make sure they don't have more than five cards and use their four energy. Here's one for two, and here's another for two. Then pass, and now it's this person's turn. This person go ahead and draw a card. They can go ahead and play one and two. Then take this card, spend the other two energy, removing this card and of course depleting for the four cards and here's how it works deplete 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 now it's four cards in my opponent's stockpile and their objective remove all the cards from the deck when you do that you win there's a bunch of different things in the game that you can do and the appendix here explains what you can do whether it be countering cards basically removing them once they are in play gaining additional energy from the four that you normally get purging cards by putting cards into your opponent's void and things like revealing and stealing cards where you're going to have to reveal cards from your hand or an opponent might steal a card from your hand but otherwise that's pretty much the way the game works spend the energy to put them out 
spend the energy to to use them and then whatever they do or say is what you do with your objective removing your opponent's deck into the stockpile on your turn and if you do so you win the game and of course don't forget to use your super special power which is really useful and something you should not forget every single deck plays its own way but the objective is the same get rid of those cards i wasn't sure what to think about with heroes and villains the card game uh when i first saw it, i was kind of thinking it was going to be kind of a, a game where you're doing take that actions and you're trying to deplete your opponent's deck and it's kind of like that but really it's more about activating and deploying cards. You're going to be utilizing energy and it actually costs you the same amount of energy it would to place a card down as it does to activate it. And each deck functions differently. It has its own style of milling. If you've ever played a game like Magic the Gathering and you know something, something called mill, basically removing cards from an opponent's deck, that's one of the ways to win that specific game, this focuses specifically on that style of play, but with unique ways in which you can do that. Some characters will use a specific out of the game void area in order to kind of combat by bringing those cards back and utilizing them again. Each deck has its own powerhouse cards and basic cards that have a synergy in type of combo or combination with other cards that will benefit it. Um, and of course, each hero or villain has its own unique card that you can utilize once per game that has a superpower that you definitely do not want to forget to use. Uh, deploying and utilizing your energy is the most important aspect of this game. And the most the conceptually difficult thing to understand is that not only do you have to pay to play the card, but then to activate it as well. And so you're going to have a lot of cards on the field that you may choose to or not use. Uh, you can go ahead and place them down and save them for later. But remember, as you kind of uh, start placing cards down and saving them, your opponent might be getting rid of those specific cards, stopping you from being able to utilize them when you've spent a lot of energy to put them down onto the board. I, I couldn't decide a favorite among these characters. Me and my friend Max were playing this game. And I can just simply say that if you like Magic the Gathering, and mill strategies, this is the perfect style game for you. I really, really enjoyed this game. We played multiple times. We played all the characters in one sitting. Generally speaking, I'll play three or four times of a game, call it done. I know kind of what it's like, what the audience is for, et cetera, et cetera. But with this one here, I was so I was very pleasantly surprised with this one here. I had no idea what to expect with it. it seemed like a very simple, straightforward take that card game. And what I got was something more unique with more complexity and um, more challenges as to how you use your combinations of cards and taking one aspect of, of, a, of a game, in my opinion, probably something that they thought of back in the day when they were playing Mill and Magic, and, and made it this kind of its, its own thing with its own unique style and theme, and having unique ways in which to bring about the end of your opponent's deck was a great choice. Uh, the art is great. If you really like those like 1980s, 1990s comic book style heroes and supervillains, it does a great job of that. Uh, the cards are very easy to understand. Name, some type of flavor text, what the card uh, is who's for the energy and what it is and then of course the very bottom explains what to do in the back of the book it will tell you the key terms so for instance if you don't know what purges or deploy or draw it's all right here written very straightforward in black and white literally in black and white and so i never had any questions or, or concerns about how to understand what a card does only about how to utilize it best for my deck and what combinations you could find and the fact that there is multiple combinations for each card and determining how each deck's kind of going to function is really cool. Not only that, but you can play multiplayer too, where you're working together or against your foes, trying to deal with how many cards might be in an opponent's deck, and of course being the last person out. Uh, additionally, of course, there's going to be uh, some variations on how you can play, whether it be a two-player format or a multiplayer format. Uh, they have multiplayer um, extra there's like three or four different styles of play for this game um and each of those were a lot of fun as well Callie, josh max and i sitting down to play comment kind of going up against each other working together with a social aspect to it which reminded me of that mtg style for those of you who like collectible card games but want something straightforward that syner synergizes on milling this is one definitely to take a look at if you don't like aggressive card games if you uh don't like games that have a similar feel to magic the gathering uh then this may not be for you but for me, this hits home in a nice space because I really enjoy magic and milling and I like the way this is formulated to be different and feel different but still have a similarity to that, that I'm all in for it. I also really like the artwork. I like the quality and the fact that it had these mats. I think these mats are super useful and wonderful to utilize and the fact that you 
have your own unique superpower ability, and the game is so quick. 15 minutes to play is accurate, and the better you get with your deck, the faster the games go, and the more you want to jump in and play again. So regardless, you can take a look down below and see if you'd like to pick up the game. Uh, for me, though, a solid, solid choice for those of you who like card games. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game heroes and villains uh the superhero card game if you're interested like i said before there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick up the game you can also go ahead and check out our website unfilteredgamer.com blog posts giveaways kickstarter lists and more see our reviews uh, by other writers not just myself for games i've previously covered on the channel and even games that i have not covered that they specifically requested to show you guys and of course moonshell mermaid game is coming out soon we're getting the manufacturing done with the minis Oh, the meeples, I should say, and the, the cloth bags. And you can also go ahead and check out our Patreon. Thank you, Patreon members, for supporting us. Every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, we have a live stream where we play games literally just like this one. If you'd like to come and watch and maybe win a game as well, go ahead and join us there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to defeating you evil supervillains next time.